What would you do in a world without bacon? If all the pigs have the genetic disorder, swine stress syndrome, that would be the case. We are going to share with you some information about this tragic disease. Swine stress syndrome, or triple S, is a neuromuscular disorder in pigs, also called malignant hyperthermia. It is genetically inherited. Triple S is believed to have originated in a pig from Germany back in the early 1900s. It is also suspected that the Pichin and Poland China breeds of Europe are highly associated with the mutation that cause, causes the disease. It became a large issue in the pork industry when packers began to demand extremely lean pigs instead of the traditional fat hog. This led producers to start using terminal sires with the triple S gene because they believed it gave them an advantage in making heavy muscled lean hogs. The problem is triple S cannot only kill pigs that have it but also leads to pale soft meat. PSE is the occurrence after hogs have rapid pH loss post-mortem. This results in extremely pale meat that has poor water holding capacity so when cooked becomes very dry. It looks very disgusting. Swine stress syndrome is caused by an autosomal recessive trait. It is associated with a mutation in the ryanodine receptor RYR1 or HAL gene, nicknamed because of the SSS positive pig's susceptibility to anesthetic halothane. The defect in the gene is caused by a cytosine thiamine mutation at nucleotide 1843. As a result, the amino acid cytosine is replaced by arginine. RYR1 affects ryanodine receptors that control calcium release in the sarcoplasmic reticulum. The defect causes the release of massive amounts of calcium, resulting in muscle spasms. There are over 300 RYR1 variants, and 31 can cause SSS. There are three possible genotypes related to the disorder, stress-resistant, stress-carrier, and stress-positive. The mutation in the RYR1 gene can be identified using a polymerase chain reaction involving restriction enzymes that break down the DNA in specific locations. This is not economically efficient on a commercial level. The symptoms are usually how the disease is detected. They can happen quick, very quickly and are usually deadly. Any high stress situation, such as extreme change in temperature, change in surroundings, or processing, will cause the SSS positive pig to show symptoms. The typical signs of the disorder include red, blotching skin, fever, muscle tremors, along with quick and labored breathing. The shock is caused by a mutation in the muscle cells that causes rapid release of calcium and can cause death in 15 to 20 minutes. Because of this, deaths from the disease most commonly happen during sorting or transporting. Also, rigor mortis and an irreversible muscle contraction after death can occur very quickly in the SSS positive pigs, usually within five minutes. The most effective solution to swine stress syndrome is not using a swine stress syndrome carrier bore or guilt. Once you clear the bloodlines, you will no longer have to worry about protected breeding. Another treatment, if the symptoms are noticed early enough, is injecting dantrolene sodium into the pig's vein. This solution causes relaxation of the skeletal muscle but not smooth the respiratory muscle. It allows the body to control the massive calcium movement that occurs when the pig is stressed. One other tried form of treatment is to spray a pig showing symptoms with cold water or give vitamin E injections. Along with those treatment methods, a less stressful mode to transport pigs would also decrease the likelihood of the disease becoming effective or deadly in a swine stress syndrome positive pig. Triple S used to be prevalent in the pork industry a couple decades ago. However, it is no longer a problem as most producers have eliminated it from their genetic programs because of the negative effects. The Packers wanted heavy muscled lean carcasses and they tried to use pigs that carried the triple S trait to make this happen, not knowing the consequence. As pigs were hauled to the plant, they would become stressed and would be dead on arrival. Also other consequences, terrible meat quality once the pigs have been harvested. The high transport loss and poor, poor meat quality caused the major packers and terminal sire providers to change how they use triple S. 
Most have eliminated triple S from their sire lines as the added benefits of rides do not outweigh the cost. Swine stress syndrome was primarily a concern in the 1960s and 70s when beef was a very expensive and consumers were looking for alternative forms of protein to eat. Pork became a second option. If a pig was positive for swine stress syndrome and was very stressed pre-slaughter, that pig's harvested meat would be PSE. When a consumer would go to the meat counter to pick up some pork chops, they might choose some of the lighter colored meat, not knowing it was PSE. They would take it home, cook it, and discover it, that it looked and tasted awful. It would be dry and tasteless after it was prepared. This gave pork a negative perception in society. As for the industry, when pigs would die suddenly while being transported, that would also throw up red flags as to potential problems with the way pigs were being raised, handled, and moved before harvest. Thank goodness swine stress syndrome is basically eradicated from the swine population today. Otherwise, we may face a world without bacon, which is just as bad as a zombie apocalypse. That's all, folks.